So I've got a couple of other YouTube videos out there on how to kill ick, what ick is. Basically, ick is a parasite that lives in your water. It's a silent killer, and it will kill your fish in a matter of a few days. All right. Um, your water parameters could be correct. Everything could be sweet. Everything could be 100% in your reef tank, which is a saltwater tank, and even freshwater aquariums. Everything could be perfect, but this parasite that lives in your water will multiply rapidly, which is also present in the ocean, by the way, but because your fish are contained in a smaller space, your aquarium, the parasite has a much better chance of infecting them, getting under the fish's skin, and I'm so hungry. eating it. The only way to kill the parasite is to dose a separate second aquarium called a hospital tank or a quarantine tank. You're going to take your fish out of your main display tank, which usually results in removing all the rock because they're smart and they'll hide behind the rock to avoid capture, which means you have to re-landscape your whole main tank. It's a big undertaking, but it's worth it if you want to save their lives and kill this parasite once and for all in your tank. Go pick up a 10 gallon from some store, Walmart. I hate Walmart. I'll never shop there, but just pick up a tank from a pet store or something. I kept my original 28 gallon nano cube as my hospital tank. It's always ready to go in case something happens. You want to dose copper solution, which will kill the parasite, all right? And it'll make your fish better and everything will be cool. While that's being done for five to six weeks, you want to leave your main display tank empty, all right? No fish in it whatsoever, because if there's no fish in your display tank, the parasite will die. Why? Because it has nothing to feed on. Oh, look at this guy. You want to be on the video? Yes. All right, here we go. I guess there's been a little confusion as to how to dose the copper solution. I'm going to show you how to do that now. And I got the idea from uh, one of the comments from Silver Dentist 79 thank you very much this video is for you oh, you got a Lego guy so basically Silver Dentist writes great video you motivated me to get to work and that's what I'm doing now I have a few questions can you show me how to dose Coopermine each time in the tank perhaps a video if you can't that's what we're doing right now second how long does freshwater dips recommend how long do you recommend freshwater dips usually and do you do freshwater dip after you quarantine thanks a bunch i do not freshwater dip a freshwater dip is when you take some fresh water not out of your tap but fresh water out of a rodi machine or you know bottled water whatever room temperature make sure it's nice for the fish you let them swim in it no more than five minutes around the three minute mark they're going to start to get a little crazy because they're a saltwater fish and it's fresh water with no salt. A so, uh, freshwater dip is what it says. Let them take a little bath. Let them dip. Let them, you know, get all the germs off of them or the parasite. The parasite will literally burst in fresh water because it needs salt water to survive. In fact, a lot of people have recommended lowering the salinity in the aquarium tank because it will kill the parasite. It'll help. So will raising the temperature. But raising the temperature will do nothing more than speed up their egg hatching process. A little more information than what I wanted to give you on this video. Go watch my other two videos on ick and how to kill it. But that revolves around today's video. We're going to use Coopermine Copper Solution, which is a liquid, by Seachum. I'm going to show you how to dose it. Alright guys, so here is my hospital tank. It's a little dirty, a little extra algae going on there. Here's the Coopermine Copper Solution liquid you basically just want to open it up put 45 drops in one two three four five six seven eight nine ten all the way to 45 I already dosed it so I'm not gonna put any more so you're gonna to want to put Coopermine copper solution in for those fish 45 drops wait 48 hours 45 drops automatically wait a week test then do 45 drops and then wait a week and dose one more time. So basically you're looking at doing a total of four doses. You guys are gonna read all on the web where people say, just give the fish uh, garlic in their food and it'll cure them. Bullshit. No, that doesn't work. The only way to cure this problem is to kill the parasite. You do it by starving it to death. Do not ever put copper in your main tank because it will kill your corals and your live rock. Do not put corals 
or your live rock or any sand in your hospital tank because they'll die. Copper will kill everything except your fish. Unless, of course, you really OD the hell out of them with copper solution. Long story short, copper will kill the parasite in your hospital tank, making your fish healthy. Keep your main display tank empty for five to six weeks while they're in the hospital tank. Everything. Last piece of information. When you get a new fish, it has to be hospitalized. It has to be put in the tank. I don't care if it's eating really well. I don't care if it's super healthy and the colors are vibrant. Doesn't matter. Hospital tank with Cooper Mean for five weeks because it could be carrying a damn parasite. As soon as you put just one parasite, which is microscopic, in your main tank, it's going to multiply to death and it will kill your fish in a matter of a week or two. Well, once the fish get a parasite on it, it's dead within three days. Trust me, I've been through this. If you guys are interested in a podcast on iTunes, RoderTube podcast is also on iTunes. A podcast is a radio version of shows. I interview bands and artists and I have some of my music up there. It's really pretty cool. So RoderTube is on YouTube and iTunes podcast. That's it. Have a great weekend. See you guys later. Bye. Peace out. You too.